Do you know what exothermic and endothermic reactions are? Very good! Endothermic and exothermic reactions are taking place regularly in our daily lives. In this video, we will discuss some important exothermic reactions occurring around us every day. Keep in mind that all chemical reactions that give off heat are essential in our daily lives. Can you think of some common exothermic reactions? Burning The formation of snow in the clouds Rusting Lighting a matchstick Crystallization Excellent! Numerous exothermic reactions take place in our daily lives. But the most common ones are combustion reactions. These reactions occur in the presence of oxygen. Anytime anything burns, it is a combustion reaction. For example, the combustion of fuel such as coal or methane generates power and produces electricity. In addition to industrial uses, exothermic reactions are also equally important for the human body. Haha! <laughs> not in the way you think, Spikey! An exothermic reaction does not actually involve burning in the way you're thinking. Instead, the larger particles are broken down to give off energy. For example, most of the food we eat contains glucose. Can you give a few examples? Right. There are many fruits and vegetables that contain glucose. When this glucose reacts with oxygen from the air that we breathe, it gives us water, carbon dioxide and energy. Energy released from glucose helps to keep the body warm and enables it to function normally. Let's have a closer look. What happened to you, Spikey? Why are you upset? Oh, Spikey, can you show me your hand? Do you know why it is pink? When a part of our body burns, blisters are formed. Have you ever wondered why that happens? Steam condenses on cooler skin and releases heat that burns the skin tissues and produces blisters. Let us now do an exercise. Can you tell me which of the following common reactions are exothermic? Neutralization is an exothermic reaction. Because a base and acid react to produce salt, water and energy. Energy is released to the surroundings during the process of neutralization. Photosynthesis involves the absorption of light and heat energy from the sun. Therefore, it is an endothermic reaction. When water boils, it absorbs heat energy. This is an endothermic reaction too. The formation of snow in the clouds involves bond formation. Thus, it is also an exothermic reaction. In this video, we learnt the importance of exothermic reactions in our daily lives. Combustion is the most common exothermic reaction. Glucose releases energy and keeps our bodies warm. Blisters and burnt skin are caused by the burning of skin tissues.